so I've been going through some things, getting rid of some things, cleaning out things, and I actually found some old artwork. So I thought it would be really cool if I could kind of rewind, if you could rewind with me and step back in time into some of my childhood artworks that I had and take you through some of what I was thinking of, what I was going through um, when I made these. So I had fun. I'm going to have fun. We have a lot of work to go through. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start off first with a something from um, third grade. I actually did not recall this until I found it um, in my room. But so this is from third grade. Papa. -pa. Look at look at look at that detail. Look at the attention to rainbow detail. But like that tree. <laughs> it's so it's so um it, it's it's so much like a real tree. I see potential. I don't know about you. I see potential in this. But yeah, so this was in um third grade. And you know, we all start somewhere. Clearly I still love color when I was back then, and that has not changed. But yeah, so here it is. I think it's made with, um, I think it was a uh, pastel actually. And so it's kind of a little chalky. But <laughs> I love it. I love the color. And I love the, um, how I kind of made a, um, like a landscape. And then like a, yeah. Okay, next one. Okay. So my next art project um kind of like what you do in every drawing class that you take i don't think i ever took like a an upscale drawing class but, um so you know everyone's gonna do the like basic shapes so this is kind of my shading thing going on look at it yeah I always thought these were boring. Always thought these were so boring. That's actually why I never took drawing and painting in high school. Because I was like, I don't want to be drawing shapes. Like, I think it was the creativity of the projects that were, like, not a thing for me. Okay. So this next one, um, I think, oh, I'm trying to see, let's see, 2009. So... What grade was I in then? Um, I feel like this was a, a middle school one? 10, 10, 2009. I'll put it, I'll put it here, what it was, what, what grade I was in. But, so yeah, so there's this one. I actually kind of like this one. This one took me a heck of a long time to do because I had to do all of the caps in all different directions and then we had to punch out shapes and then color in the shapes so let's take a, take a closer look yeah I did primary colors here let me see if you're focusing yes yeah, so I had primary colors here I even did like the stitching on all of the caps it took me so 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 long and then I did some like you know purples here and then I did some like kind of doing some shading. And I did, you know, you can see some texture going on there. But yeah, like this took me forever. Oof, I remember laboring over this one. Oh, look at that. Cool, cool. Um, oh yeah, so there's like there's like the bee that's coming off because I messed up. But nobody needs to know that. And, just in the, um, and my teacher didn't actually notice until I pointed it out. And she's like, why did you point that out? I would have never noticed. So, but like, I think it's kind of cute because it's like punching outside because artists like to um, be outside the boxes. Get it? Get it? Get it? But yeah, it took me forever, man. But I really like this piece. Um, okay, next one. I wanted to show you... One of the 
Um, I think it's just the charcoal things that I did. So here it is. Um, I did this at, I went to an art camp. It was a week long with my art teacher. And we were just working on charcoal and just working on trying to get proportions right and stuff. And it's, it's okay. I, I, I kind of like it. I hung it up for a little bit. I don't usually like putting my work on display. Because, like, for me, when I, like, finish with a piece, I'm like, I'm done. I don't, I don't want to see it. Like, when I take photos, I don't like putting my photos up on the wall. Because I just, I'm like, I'm done looking at them. I'm already tired of them. So, um, so this one I actually had hung, hanging for a little bit. Uh, yeah. A little kid. Yeah, charcoal. And I think I did, um, some colored pastels with it as well. Yeah, I'll show you a little closer. So this is my first, I guess you would say, like, legitimate charcoal thing. Let me show you. Um, I wanted to show you some of my other um, projects, my art projects, because I don't know if I'm going to keep them all. So I kind of want to have it on video, just to like have it on video so I can explain it. Okay, so first one, nothing too fancy. Um, it's basically kind of like a, I think it was a design project, being creative with words and typography and really trying to see how the um, letter spacings can affect the um, the silhouette of the thing and then disruption and what disruption would look like in a word and so just expressing the word in visual language I guess you could say okay next one all right this one was a graphic design project um, uh, I don't remember what the assignment was. I think it was just like to pick a, a company and not, and then kind of do a graphic design, everything from their typography to their business card, to the envelopes, to the like stationery and stuff. So here's this one, um, it goes this way. So this one's like the top of the stationery. And I pick like a tea company. And it's funny because this right here, it kind of looks like the Fuse, the drink um, logo, which is funny because I didn't get paid for any of this. <laughs> they stole my idea. Anyway, so yeah, this is kind of like the their logo. So there we go, you can see it a lot better. So this is like the business card that I made. Of what it would look like and sorry it's a little gluey because it's old with their logo and like this is what their envelope would look like and I made that tea the tea cup in Illustrator so that's my intro to Illustrator um, there's another one I quite like it <laughs> um, yeah so this is like my first graphic design project with the logos and stuff and I enjoyed it oh you can notice that um it's a tea house, so I wanted to kind of create a house with the tea and this hell it kind of looks like the Fuse logo, but that was not a thing back then. Oddly enough, it's funny how it is now, but yeah. Okay, we're back. I'm gonna show you some more artwork. Um, I wanted to show you, um, this is something that I did uh, just up for Halloween and I was with two other friends and we did a, um, we, we were like cards, we were three other cards, all different themes I guess you could say. Get it? See themes for already. I like themes. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is the card. This is the front and 
you know, I already had rhinestones before rhinestones were actually a trend in the face paint world. I had no idea there was a world in sophomore year of high school. But yeah, so I had rhinestones and then, whoa, sorry. And then rhinestones here and rhinestones here. And I painted my face, of course. And I had no like recollection of like other people's things. Um, Yes, and then, so the back got super fancy. We got super fancy in the back. I got 3D, and I was the Mad Hatter. I had a top hat, um, and yeah, so let me show you. So this is like duct tape, and then I had like a key here. I had a real ace card with the rhinestone, of course, and then rhinestones again, rhinestones with like duct tape, but I had it, I wanted to get the texture. And if you notice, there's actually fabric underneath that I put on. And then I did like diamonds painting, of course, at Alice in Wonderland. I knew in high school that I was most definitely a project based person. Um, let me see, let's try it on one last time. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one, but uh, yes, so I was a card, I was running around. I had an apron on and the side had like silver and it was super fun. Yeah, so, yeah. But yeah, I always knew I was, I actually wanted to be a, I was like, man, a cake decorated would be so fun to do um, coming out of high school because I knew it was project based. I knew I liked decorating things and I was like, I just want to like decorate things. So um, I actually ended up working at a bakery in college because I was like, I'm going to learn to decorate so let's go and work at a bakery to at least be around the vicinity and then found that I actually didn't like it I didn't like I love the bakers they're all so nice with huge hearts and bread like yum but I didn't enjoy the I guess I, I didn't know I had a, a, another interest in wellness and so like when I was working in the bakery, I definitely had that in my mind and I, so it wasn't really for me and it was something that was, I wouldn't have never known had I not followed that path and followed the curiosity. So yeah, and I knew I had an interest in food too, so I was trying to like smoosh them together, but like it didn't work out because I, I, I didn't like being underground and I wanted to be more outside and more like you know, with the people. So if you see it, I'm like decorating people's faces. Ah, and I immediately get to see the reactions. And like, it's like the same thing. And it's so, so great. Okay. All right. We keep going. Let's see. Oh, so this, this one, I think this is actually the last one that I have in my projects, but... Um, this one was kind of like pulling, pulling teeth. I don't, I wasn't really like in for this one. We had to do a second project with like the windows and I was just trying to think of something to do. And I ended up doing kind of like a triceratops. My sister had a triceratops light. So I took a picture of it. We had to do it with like use Photoshop and stuff. And then um, I took, like a stop motion almost of the her uh, her mannequin, and I stop motioned it, and I took a picture of her like um, tomato pin thing, and so we had a I had to Photoshop all of this, and then it was like boing 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 boing, and I wanted him to like dribble it and then like pick it up. <laughs> How crazy, such a, such a crazy art piece. But um, stuff that I would never hang up, but I did. And it's on nice photo paper and a creation of mine. <laughs> so that one, okay, so this one did a digital photography class and we had to make like a five um, tier thing, <laughs> I guess you could say. 
and windows, so we had to learn how to cut these out normal, like cleanly. And so that's how we did it too. And so I did this one and I took pictures of food and I know the color grading's like so wrong, but this was high school. <laughs> Everybody started somewhere. Um, but yeah, if you look and, and you, you, see your, you use your creative eye, it actually says flavor. F-L-A-V-O-R. Kind of push that pudding one. I was like, I don't know where I'm gonna get R. But yeah, I also had a fascination with food in high school. Um, I took a humanities class and I did even a paper on food. So I still had an interest in food. Yes, so there's this one. Cool. And there's like cucumber sandwich because I was totally in with that. Uh -huh. mm. <laughs> um here it is. So proud. I took hours laboring over it, but I painted it and you, and these like giraffe and waves and dinosaur, you know, octopus and everything. So um yeah, this is like for one of my first um I wouldn't say festivals, but like my first like softball tournament. It was during a softball tournament. I grew up um, basically on the field, and I'm gonna keep it for sentimental purposes. But yeah, so this is, and then um, I had like a canopy over me. So um, so I hung another sign that I painted. Are you ready for it? It's so cute. So like, oh, is it cute? And then like painting, so it could be have visibility from all the fields. Ooh, so much fun. So I would do um, like more paint, different colors to match their thing. And I don't know. I just ah, I'm gonna keep it. It makes me so happy. How could he not be happy with this? So, yes. That's all I got. Um, I, I'm pretty sure... I'm sure I have more art. I just... These are like the big poster pieces that I... Um, that I still have. I'm sure I have more somewhere. But, yeah. Alright, that's it. Alright, be kind, stay curious, have fun. Mm -hmm.